Everybody wants to be remembered, and that's something that's much easier to do if you're wealthy. Welcome to Biltmore. It was built in the 1890s by George Vanderbilt, an heir to the railroad fortune amassed by his grandfather. The manor has 255 rooms and 65 fireplaces. Its opulence was a sign of the times, an era where the very rich owned a third of the nation's wealth, while 40% of Americans lived in poverty. George Vanderbilt wanted to impress visitors, not only with the building, but also its contents. Visitors today appreciate his efforts. It's speechless when we drive up to it and just see the size and that somebody lived here and the amount of work and craftsmanship to build a place like this, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. This is the banquet hall. It has seven foot story high ceilings and Flemish tapestries from the mid 1500s. This is where the Vanderbilts would have um, big dinner celebrations, anything formal. Biltmore now hosts concerts and exhibitions. Visitors can tour the many rooms filled with books and works of art and architectural details such as this winding staircase. I think people just don't spend the time doing it anymore. It's easier just to mass manufacture houses than it is to build something unique. It's good to look back to see what life was like back then, but it also kind of is a way of looking at the classes and how the upper class definitely had the wealth and the control of everything, but yet the lower classes struggled. The manor reminds visitors of a time that was hard on many, but very glamorous for the select few. Masha Morton, Mike Maisuradze, VOA News, North Carolina.